Hey, Lulu. How you doing, Lulu? How's it going, Lulu? Hey, MJ. Hey. How's it going, MJ? Fine. How you doing? Fine. Hey, Lulu. Lulu. Hey, Lulu. What's new with you, Lulu? I don't know. What's new with you, MJ? Want to see something cool? What? Ah. Ah. Ew. Well, we're going to see a movie called Kick. Oof. I mean, what was it again called, MJ? Kick. Ass. You kicked my arse twice. Let's walk this way. Okay. This Herb needs to walk by. <laughs> Let's walk this way. That way. Let's get out of this. Herb needs to go in there. Let's walk in here. In here? Yeah, back in here. We can hide away back here all we want. Okay. In Lulu's room. Now, sit down on the ground. Since you're in Lulu's room, I think you should probably sit down over there, you know. Yeah, that's for, that's for, when you're in here, you have to sit down like that. Okay? And, well, what can we say? We're going to see Kick-Ass. We didn't see it last week because we were at the horror convention. Right. And we have some news coming up. We recently signed to do the Plan 9 remake, mm -hmm. which is going to be, we're not sure exactly when we're shooting it yet, but we, we can't talk about who's in it. We only know one person we can say, and James, the angry video game nerd, is going to be in it. Which that's what I'm really excited about. And we're going to be morticians in the film. Yep. And um, also, the company Legion Films is also doing auditions right now. If you, I will put the link on the side of this video, and you guys can film auditions to, to audition for their next film. And you just like put the put the video as a response under the video. We're going to give you the link to. And they're like they're like looking for the best people to bring into their next films. So um, check that out. Hope to see you guys there. Hope to see you guys there. And um, is there anything else new with you? Um. Oh yeah, before oh, yeah, let me just get a AMJ. Yeah. Let me how do you make this thing squeak? Let me try try another one. Go get it, MJ. Yeah, MJ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, we're gonna go see Kick Ass now. Yeah. And we'll let you know what we thought. Oh, 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 oh. You didn't serve that. Well, here we are in the garage of the Wowson Commons, MJ. Yeah. And you look blue, very blue, and there's even a blue light on you. Yeah, it's just, it's my new color, you know? Let's go start going. Okay. You know what I always think is funny is how they have this old sign. Uh oh. Whoa, whoa. I always think it's funny they have this thing here that says, you know, food, food hall, and restaurants. I mean, shops. It's like and shops. It's like there hasn't been shops, restaurants, or a food hall in here in like ten years. Yeah, there's only offices and a cinema. And for how long the cinema will be here? It's too bad that sign doesn't have a date on it. I oh, know. There's a green light there. Oh yeah. Back there. MJ, if you stand in front of that car up there, you're blend in. Uh, I can camouflage and I can get away. So stand in front of it and see if you blend in. Get too close to the hold on. Oh. See? You can't see me. You can't see me. That's what you get when you wear weird colored shirts. Weird. It's like one of those general colors out there. Yeah, if you want to look like a blueberry. Oh, if I want to look like a blueberry, I got to be all fat and puffy. Like me? I'm not fat and puffy. I'm just fat. You're, you're, you're festive to pump. Oh, all right. That's a good thing. Like back here. It's sad how this is like all. This all used to be the food hall. And I still can't look at it this way except that this is a wall because this used to be a whole big area. Yeah, back here. This whole area, all here from here, I know we've said it a couple of times, but yeah. it was all food, and this all was food court. Now it's almost like, what is this even here for now? This is just here to promote book exchange. If you have crappy old books, you can sell your books there. Do you have any crappy old books? Okay, well, you can make five bucks. And like this, sponsors nothing. And they'll pay you with a check. Remember that one place where they paid us with a check? Yeah, I'm, I'm staring, staring at it like, oh. Checks. Now look, this is still broken, look. After all this time, what? 
thing is, what's the problem with going back there? You know what happens if you go back there? What? You fall through the ground and end up in hell. Um, MJ? Whoa. I have made your jump. And I'm here to clean the trash out of the town. Your name's supposed to be Ball Smegma. That's the name we came I up with. I thought you claimed that name. Oh, I thought you were Ball Smegma. No, I'm Major Jump. I can jump really high. Well, we just got a scene. Kick. Well, kick. Turn around. Ass. We just got a scene. Kick ass. Mm -hmm. And like, didn't you really like it a lot? I knew I would. I got to admit, I knew I would like that. I, I knew it would be awesome. And it's about this kid that wants to be a superhero. When I'm not here, they even acknowledge it, like I did in one of the MJ's Toys videos, the difference between hero and superhero. So, you no, know, super means you're stronger than everyone else, you can fly. He said hero is just a guy doing the right thing. And he's like, you know, it's this kid's like, you know, all this bad Let's stuff's walk happening. walk more over this way. Right. I think we feel suspicious standing over there. Oh, yeah. But he's like, you know, why doesn't other people do it? And they say, because, dude, you get your butt kicked. And it's like, oh, yeah. Well, that's not what he said, but you know what I mean. He's like, dude, it's stupid. You know, anybody does, you like, get the, get the crap beat out of them. And, he said, well, what if I try it? You know what I mean? Like, maybe I could actually do some good. And he does. And one thing I will say that I really liked about this was it was realistic. Because what happened was, like, everybody, when you first see him come out, it's like you want to see him, like, beat the bad guy right away. But that's not what happens. I'm not going to say fully what happens, but, like, you see quite a few times he does get his butt kicked. But that's what would really happen if a regular person would do that. So, like, everything in this film, like, stuck true to, to like, real life, which was great. It's based on like a comic, I don't know if it's a comic book series or a certain comic, I think it's a series. Right. I think. And it stars, you know, McLovin's in it. Oh, yeah, and the yeah, main, the main actor was new. I don't think he's been in, like, he may have been like one or two things. I thought I saw him in one or two things. He was really good. Everybody, he was really everybody good. Everybody in this was really everybody good. Everybody was good. There's some guy like sleeping in the car over there. Let's, let's stand over this no, way. There's a lot of weird shenanigans going on out here today. No, no. no but what I, I thought was interesting. I'm standing this way. So we woke that guy. moving me. So the, I think the guy was like in there like kicking off or something. Like he was in his undies. Okay. No, what I found <laughs> interesting was, I mean, you pretty much get this from the trailer. Like, um, Everybody in this did their fair share of kicking butt. Um, um, kick, you know, the main guy. Kick ass. All right, if you don't be afraid of saying that foul word. You always to say, don't use bad language. Kick ass. Kick, did his fair share of ass kicking. Big Daddy, you know, Nicholas Cage, who's really good. He, he was did. really good at it. Yeah, but for some reason, the one who did more ass kicking than any. I'm not saying the hardest, but the most was the was the little girl. She was like 11. Um, hit girl. She was like amazing. Which is yeah. ironic. I mean, I'm not saying girls aren't awesome or anything. I'm just saying you, that's who you'd least suspect. But yeah, she kicked more ass than anybody. Yeah. And like I said, you get that from the trailer, so I'm not like ruining anything. But everybody contributed. Like everyone was good in this. Yeah, I thought Nicholas Cage was really, really yeah, especially good. good. I'm glad he's still doing stuff. You know, I'm sometimes how he, get, he gets like bad raps and stuff. It's like I, he shouldn't. He he does really cool stuff. The thing is, like sometimes people are just in movies that are like not that great. But like right. it's not really his fault because he he didn't make the movies to stand them. No, but in this one, like I mean. I was real proud, especially of the whole um, father-daughter um, bond he had going, like, with those two, that, that was really good. Um, also, Clark Duke, he was one of um, Kick-Ass... I mean Clark Butt Duke. Yeah, his, he was from Hot Tub Time Machine and um, Sex Drive, he was in this, and of course... He was only in this for, like, maybe not, like not, not that much. Just... No, but the thing is, for what it was worth, he was funny. I don't remember the other guy's name, the one who said he was in love with um, Hit Girl, he was pretty funny, too. He, he looked a little bit like... The main guy, didn't he? Oh, he did. Then they almost look like twins. The they, the like, they look like twins or something. Yeah, I'm thinking, is that his brother? It's like, no, it's just his friend. And this had a bit of a Spider-Man kind of feel to it. No, it's kind of a spoof, sort of. Kind of, but it felt like it. How he kept on having to hide and how. But it, it's good though. It's like um, the drama of the fact that he's like this. Well, I don't want to say nerdy, but he's like this below average um, person, and he's this superhero everyone adores. Let's stand this direction. So no, it's better view. He's this hero that everyone adores. But, like, the fact that he's still getting, you know, I don't want to say neglect, but he's still got a regular life in real life, like Peter Parker, which was, it was real similar. I like this better than the Spider-Man movies, though. I do, too. This, this, this had more of an originality. It had that and a little bit of a, a slight bit of a Batman-ness to it, kind of. Yeah. But mostly it was, like, Spider-Man. It was. And every so often I kept thinking of, J5! You know, Blank Man. Oh! You know, super heel. Yeah, you said that to me in the theater. I'm thinking, what? I'm like, I didn't know. What I just you were kept thinking about. of Blank Man every so often. He's yeah, like, it, it was a little like that. See, Blank Man was, it was kind of like Blank Man, except it went in a different direction. I don't know. It, Blank Man was more funny, and this had a slight bit more of a seriousness to it. And then Meteor Man. Me Meteor Man too. So with Meteor Man, he actually had a sp superpower. With this, it was all people in suits actually trying. You know what I mean? As regular people. Yes. But still, like Meteor Man was a good one too. But. I mean, uh, there was nothing about this I would change. How I mean, many stars would you give it? Honestly, I see no reason. I know mean, this this boosted me. 
I mean, I don't want to show any favoritism. If I was, I, I, I was ready to say six, but you know, I'm just, I'm gonna say five stars. This. Everybody looked at you, and I heard that. I saw it. I can read lips, and you know what they just said? What? Blueberry. All right. But um, seriously, I mean, every, this film was amazing. This was like, this was really good. It, it flowed really well, and I totally forgot what I was about to say. When I was watching, I'm like, I already knew this was gonna be really good, and I mean. But how many stars would you say? You said five? Honestly, five. I do recommend seeing this in theaters. This is definitely one to see. And it's not like a pushweed film. No, it's, it's not. a full it's, R-rated movie. That's also a mixture to your life. Is people in real life have really foul mouths. And everyone in this movie, it's not like you said, he's like, what are you looking at, you costume freak? Get the heck out of my business. Get the gosh darn heck out of here. You know what I mean? He's going to curse. And I like this better than Watchmen. I did too. I really liked this better than I mean, Watchmen. It was, this movie had the same stylized kind of feel to it. You know what I mean? But like, I thought this was more fun. You know what I mean? It was. This movie was more fun. It was, and also, I mean, I'm not going to say anything, but I really get a strong feeling there's going to be a sequel. And a few times they have like an 80s style music. Did you notice that? Like, they did. It wasn't exactly, it was almost like modernized 80s music. The, I think it was at the Bananas, or, you know what I'm talking about, that old thing of, they, they did on Cartoon Network, it's like one banana, two banana. They had oh, yeah. that playing when Hit Girl was kicking these people's butts. But, um... I totally forgot what I was about to say. You keep forgetting, MJ. Yeah, I'm getting real forgetful lately, but... Must have been the fact that you were eating fries from the most fattening fries in the world. Yeah. But, um, seriously, I, I recommend seeing this. Five stars, it was it was great, and I really wish that I could remember what else I was going to say about it. Well, do you even remember your name? Well, MJ stands for quite many things, so... It stands for Michael Jordan.